new video. It's called Never Can Say Goodbye. I think uh, when people think of my name or of me, they probably think of a smiling, happy person jumping up and down and um, just full of life, really. Never can say goodbye. I would really like it for people to think, well, it wasn't just a Gloria Gaynor tune or Jackson 5 tune, it's a Yaz tune and it's coming up right now. No, I'm not hard. I'm so. Am I the second in fashion concert? Me? Who me? I'm into looking good, but not necessarily what's fashionable. It's just turn around, you fool. You know you love the album is a covers album, uh, which is incredibly hard to do and was a very big decision for me to do that. A lot of people do covers, and a lot of people do covers bad. I like to think that, you know, I do them well. Never can say Okay, yeah, I started singing at very late. I met two wonderful guys called Cold Cut in 1989, 88, and I basically wrote choruses while they took samples from other people's stuff. In the dance scene at the time, it seemed to be extremely creative, and we had our first successful record, which was Doctor in the House. So, okay, I'm going to take you back a little bit to one of my earliest videos, which cost £5,000. And it's coming up now. And it's um, Doctor in the House. Um, and then after that, we recorded a track called The Only Way's Up. Watch and remember and enjoy. The only way is up. I do find that people treat me differently. Um, now I'm not blonde, they tend to don't speak so slowly to me. First fact, Yaz does not like spiders. Second fact, Yaz loves pasta. Third fact, Yaz is a cricket fan, mad cricket fan. Never can say goodbye. saying goodbye to someone, you mean, I think we're talking relationships here, is um, very recently, and I'm not going to talk about any more that, okay? No, I do not give my CD for my birthday present. Please. The idea for the video was this, okay? I was going to be having more of a conversation with myself in the video, i.e. I was going to be one side of the table and the sister side of myself was going to be the other side of the table. So there's a couple of clips of me together with me, like at the end and a couple in the beginning. So uh, that's the way we, we moved with that on this particular video. Yaz yeah, have in her pocket. Her house keys, car keys, because she drives an expensive car. She does not drive an expensive car, she drives a Honda. <gasps> tissues. Mothers always have tissues. One pound fifty pen. That looks good, see? I'm not a fashion victim. One pound twenty-five, see? <laughs> a bill for a pan of chocolate. So now we've got a bit of a chocolate bed here. What a fantastic, superb new record by Yaz. Outstanding vocals, complemented by the best production available in the UK at the moment. Buy it. 
now. Okay, you've been watching Yaz, you've been watching The Box with MT, you see, which of course is music television that you control. The new singles are on 24th of February, please, please check it out. I'm Bernie. Hi, and I'm Kelly. And you're watching The Box, music television you control. We're going to be showing you a video of our new single, which is called Don't You Love Me. And it's off new album, which is called Before the Rain. So here it is. Check it out. Well, we recorded it here in London with two British uh, producers, but we did go to L.A. to actually do the video. Rosie Taylor never thought they'd do a controversial song, but it's, uh, you could say it's a little bit controversial. It's based on uh, people who are underprivileged, like, or going through hard times. Like, we had a prostitute in the video, we had a little kid who was lost, and we had businessmen who were ignoring the people that needed help. We had, like, a grandma mm -hmm. and stuff. It was nice. Just, just people that actually needed help, and, and other people, how they ignored their plight and, and stuff. And it was really cool, because in the end, um, they all came together and they all hugged and cuddled and stuff, and it was, it was nice. One thing about that video, which is kind of even, well, not the video, more so the song, which is kind of more special to us, is when we recorded it, we got all of our nieces and nephews in. So at the very end of the song, you've got kids singing, and that's just like family members, which is really cute. Yeah. The new style for the new album is just a bit more, it's just a bit stronger. I think Powerful Woman, it was more about our femininity and how we were independent women. This time, it's more about social issues and more about where we are now in our lives, which is that we're more socially aware, we've thought about things and we've written about different things and we've, you know, experienced different things. Three eternal scandals will be who we're dating, and that'd be me, Esther, and Kelly. I suppose Kelly's being linked with who is it, Emine, and me and Esther with boys, and so that's, that's three. Tell me one of your secrets, leave nothing up. Try and tell me in detail, that I remove every single doubt. The first time I played to Bin the Bottle with them, uh, it was with um, Louise actually. Cause it's just I first met Louise at school. We, uh, we've known each other since I was 11. And then we were really pleased because we actually went through school together and then we went on to our first job together and it's turned into our profession. Baby, just a step I miss her a lot, an awful lot. But um, she only lives around the corner, so I get to see her as, you know, as often as we can. But we speak a lot on the phone, but she's busy and I'm busy, so it's hard and I, and I do miss her. Me and my sister have the same type of taste in men. I think that's a definite yes. <laughs> have I ever gone out with one of Esther's boyfriends? I think not. When me and Bernie decided to choose contact. Well, no, because I wear I, I wear lenses anyway, because I'm short sighted, so I wear I lenses. I was supposed to tell the story. Okay, sorry. Okay, she wears lenses, and she told you. And originally she was brown, but then she copied her sister because I look so good. <laughs> and then when she saw the videos and all the films and the photos, and saw how good her sister looked good in blue. Oh, she, she decided to go blue. <laughs> it's a sisterly thing. Really. I'm going brown again. Beauty tips, you know, drink plenty of water. I know that's an old one, everybody says it, but it's the truth. Drink <coughs> plenty and plenty of water. And you know, what you put in your body will always come out one way or the other. So if you put junk in, junk will come out. Well done, Kelly. Thank you. <laughs> junk in, junk out. <laughs> <laughs> For 
this year, 97, we've got? We've got a new album, which is called Before the Rain. Um, first single, which is called Don't You Love Me. Uh, we're on tour, which starts, Kel? It starts in March 28. on the 28th in Newcastle. And that'll be cool, because we're looking forward to it. It's our first arena tour. First time we've had like four dancers and we've got like eight band, eight band members and stuff. So much bigger production than the last time. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> If you want to see more of Eternal, you want to hang out with The Box because they're going to be doing little interviews with us all over our tour before the ring, so check it out. You've just had a taste of Eternal, so I hope you know a little bit more about us. Uh, we're switching off, so um, we'll see you soon. We're on tour, so look forward to seeing you. Yep, take care and keep watching The Box. Music, television, you, you control! control.